hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl lizzy please subscribe share and watch my previous videos if you're just tuning in for the first time thank you all so much so here is the look we're gonna be doing today and the look by my right was gotten from instagram i do hope that you enjoy this look and if this video helps you in any way please do not fail to share and subscribe my videos and also watch my previous videos if you want to learn how to tie any style of trending gilly right now please try and do that i love you all so much so the first thing I did was to make pleats. I made about 7 pleats before placing the gilly on my head. When tying this gilly for yourself, after making the pleats, you have to trace down your pleats properly when the gilly is on your head so that it looks nice and very neat. So the rule for this particular ghillie is 80-20. One hand of the ghillie has to really be longer than the other hand of the ghillie. So the longer part of the ghillie right now is what I'm holding, which is the 80 part of the ghillie. So I'm just going to cross it off on top of my head. I'm just going to place it on top of my head and make some pleats. While making these splits, you have to make sure that you make them from your neck area towards the middle of your head. So that's just what I'm going to do. And when doing that, make sure that you hold the shorter part of your ghillie with your neck so that everything does not unravel. When you hold the shorter part of your ghillie with your head, it makes um, the whole process, it makes the ghillie which you're doing, which you're tying stronger. While doing this, you have to make sure that your gilly is your pleats are coming out really nice and it's neat. So you just have to continue making this pleat until you're satisfied with what you've got. You just have to keep making. So I'm just I'm going to make fans with this gilly. So when you're making the fans, you have to make sure that your ghillie is either very big or medium size. Or, although it all depends on the type of ghillie you want. If you want your fan to be very high, you have to make sure that your ghillie is big. And if you want your fan to be very low, then you can make do with a small ghillie. So after making the pleats, you have to make sure that you pin your gilly. You keep pinning and pinning so that everything does not unravel because you are the one doing this for yourself. So you have to be sure that your gilly is strong on top of your head and it doesn't fall off. So I'm just going to start making my fan right now. The fan is that stylish um, pleats you make on top of your head. It actually stands on your head. It's the new trend, so why not go for it? So you have to keep pinning and pinning to make sure that your ghillie is secure and your ghillie is firm on your head. I bet you this ghillie is not as difficult as it may seem. It's not as dis difficult. <laughs> pardon. I beg your pardon. It's not as difficult as it may seem. You just have to keep following this process. Um, narrating to you you just have to follow it and if you follow it properly you're definitely going to get it right so after making your pleats you have to make sure that you twist the end part of your ghillie and pin it down So I pinned my ghillie two times so that I'm sure that my ghillie is secured and it doesn't unravel. And this is what the back of your ghillie is going to look like if it is 
an open gele but if it is a closed gele your the back of your head will not show everything is going to be covered but for me right now my hair is neatly done so i can definitely make my gele an open gele You see that the gilly is already come out really beautiful coming out really beautiful and nice the gilly is already coming out really beautiful and nice so you just have to keep adjusting until you get you get what you want so we are done with the 80 part of our gilly so right now we are going to move over to the 20 part of our gilly so the first step I took was to twist my gilly you have to twist properly and then the second step I took was to make pleats with the end part of my gele you have to make pleats so that the gele really comes out really beautiful so this is what is going to be at the front of your head so you have to make sure that they are really nice so after making those pleats I made sure that I pinned the pleats So when you're done, open your gele properly so that it looks really nice and so that that style in front comes out really nice and it gives you a very beautiful look. I love you all so much. I really do. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. If this video has helped you in any way, guys, please don't fail to subscribe and share. I really love it when you guys do that. It makes me to know that, yeah, I'm actually working and you guys enjoy my video. And if you have not watched my previous videos, please do that. All trending gilly styles are there and they are really going to help you. And please turn on your notification button so that each time my post you'll be the first person to know i really love you all so much please share subscribe support your girl and i hope to see you all in my next video i love you all so much bye bye